The chairman of British Airways has attacked what he describes as completely redundant security checks at airports. Martin Broughton argues that people should no longer have to take off their shoes and get their laptops checked. The chairman of the UK's largest airline also criticised the US for imposing stringent checks on US-bound flights, but not on its own domestic services. It's a chore airline passengers don't enjoy very much, but most think it's necessary. Now one of the biggest figures in the airline industry says some of the security checks are completely redundant. Take removing footwear, for example. Random checks were brought in after Richard Reid tried to blow up a plane with explosives hidden in a shoe in 2001. But Mr Broughton says it's no longer necessary. And he's also critical of the requirement to remove laptop computers from bags so they can be checked separately. Mr Broughton said there was no need to kowtow to the Americans every time they wanted Thank something you. done. He now. told an airline conference, America does not do internally a lot of the things they demand that we do. We shouldn't stand for that. We should say we'll only do things which we consider to be essential and that you Americans also consider essential. New security measures were brought in earlier this year after an alleged plot by this man, Umar Farouk Abdul Muttalab, to blow up an airliner over Detroit on Christmas Day. Hello, sir. Just lower your bag for me for the dogs. Some in the industry say there now needs to be a complete overhaul of the security system to decide what is necessary and what isn't. In the US, a spokesman for the Transportation Security Administration said the organization always worked closely with its international partners to provide the best security based on the latest intelligence. Andy Moore, BBC News. Well, we can speak now to Colin Matthews, who's chief executive of BAA. Um, Colin Matthews, I know you want to talk about your latest figures, and we'll do that in a minute, but um, what do you think about this idea? I mean, I, obviously passengers want, above all, to be safe. So I suppose it comes down to what's efficient as much as anything else. Well, no, you're right. The first priority, of course, is passengers have to be safe. And, of course, we have to follow the uh, directions that are laid down by our government and other governments. I do think, though, that what we do today is a result of one um, requirement being laid on top of another. And we could do a better job um, if we could redesign it with the end in mind and have a single coherent uh, process. It would be much better too if passengers weren't confused by having different uh, arrangements at both ends of the journey. So we could definitely do a better job if we could redesign that process. And of course it's right for some people taking shoes off is an extraordinarily uncomfortable thing to do in a, in a security lane. Uh, so we're very concerned to do the best job we possibly can for passengers. But you're right, we have to keep passengers safe first and foremost. Can you not have a more targeted uh, approach. I mean, I realise the pitfalls of that on a number of fronts, but you know, there really is something a bit absurd about um, making a snowy-haired grandmother take her shoes off, isn't there? Um, I'm not hearing in, uh, quite clearly. I think you were uh, saying it should be more targeted, and I think uh, security arrangements can be targeted. We could use intelligence um, and uh, several means in order to make sure that we invest our efforts uh, where it's going to be uh, most effective. And what about this criticism that the whole thing is unbalanced anyway because the US aren't bothering to screen people on internal flights? Well, I do think it's better if uh, the arrangements are common across Europe, first of all, that would be a great step. It'd be great to have exactly the same arrangements between uh, uh, the UK and, uh, and the US. That would certainly be better. That's a tough thing to achieve, um, but it would be better to have the same arrangements throughout. It's a matter of a government, you mean, not you? Well, we, we don't decide the measures. Of course we don't. That's to the uh, security authorities to tell us what to do. We want to be involved, though, in defining how to do it, because I think we can then design processes that are more comfortable for passengers. And our interest, of course, first and foremost, is to keep passengers safe. Um, but equally, we want to have passengers go through security quickly, comfortably. Now, um, turning to your figures, I see that a record number of... Uh passengers passed through Heathrow in the third quarter of 2010, but you're still recording a pre-tax loss. So how do those two things go Well, together? I think passenger numbers are encouraging, particularly business travel. And Heathrow is particularly focused on long-haul travel. That connects uh, UK business to global markets. And happily, parts of the globe are growing strongly. So what we do is important, I think, for the uh, uh, UK economy. I think the key financial measure that people should look at, though, is um, our EBITDA, 
and that is improved in the quarter. Uh, up, but if you just look at the quarter, the third quarter is 8% better than it was a year ago. The other key measure, though, is that the cash we generate from our business before we uh, spend money on financing is, a, is a, uh, 690 million pounds in the first nine months. Every single pound of that very nearly is invested in renewing our airports. You're more or less becoming shopping malls as much as uh, airports, aren't you, uh, judging well, not, from the figures? Um, retail revenue is important to us, but you need to know that that revenue goes to reduce landing charges, first of all. Uh, the second thing is that when passengers are hassled and stressed, they don't uh, spend money in shops. When passengers, passengers are confident and relaxed, they do. So our interest is in, to improve the customer, customer experience. As we improve the customer experience, then yes, those retail revenues improve. Colin Matthews, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Let's get more on that breaking news now and see operation underway off the Isles of Scilly. Let's